Day zero one. Oracle card number twenty nine. The pink rose of Lady Nada. You are in the midst of a heart healing, a healing of the fears and anxieties that have held you back from enjoying your full magnificence. Lady Nada is here with all her gentle power, washing you in soft pink light. All anger, fear, sadness. Bitterness, disappointment, and hurt are soothed and loved into peace. She brings you a sign of your future blossoming into deeper love. You are in the midst of a heart healing. The pink rose of Lady Nada is a spiritual gift from higher guidance. It brings love, healing, strength, and compassion to your heart. You may be burnt out or feeling anger, fear. Depression, chronic fatigue, or compromised wellness. Perhaps your heart is so tired that you struggle with compassion fatigue, finding it difficult to care, even though your nature is one of deep compassion and kindness. Or perhaps you have put your heart and soul into something or someone, and feel your efforts have been cast aside or taken for granted. Perhaps you are processing a great loss. Whatever the reason, Lady Nada has come to comfort your soul. Your pain will pass, and your suffering will be alleviated sooner and more gently than you might expect. The pink rose of Lady Nada unfolds as an energetic gift, gently pulsing with love and beauty within your heart chakra. It brings you comfort. Gentle emanations of divine love and reassurance that you are so wonderful just as you are. Lady Nada is saying, "How much I like you, dearest child of God. How deeply I love you. I send love and acceptance to you now, so that you may come to love and like yourself with all the compassion, kindness, and unconditionality I feel for you." If there is anything or anyone you need to forgive, this gift from Lady Nada will empower you to do so. Your ability to forgive won't make you a doormat for others. It will free you to leave the past behind. So let other people's choices be about their learning rather than your value, and choose to love yourself now. If you are at a troublesome point in your life, remember that. Despite the thorns, the rose has an exquisite perfume. It is a powerful and wise soul that chooses a path that has truly challenging moments. But out of those challenges, great empowerment can be developed. Do not despair if you seem far from the light. You are simply traveling through darkness for a time. Your inner light is strong enough to see by, even in darkest times. Still, that time will end soon, and you shall realize exactly how much you have grown through the experience. You will find your way into peace and happiness. Trust in your own light within. Whenever you feel lost, and the loving kindness of Lady Nada's blessing now, it is enough to lift you into the light of love and peace. Come back to that love. To the pink rose unfolding in your heart, whenever you feel lost, some challenges are meant to help you to grow in your ability to love without condition, to surrender to the divine, even when things don't seem to make sense. You undergo such challenges because you are capable, powerful, and wise. The universe loves you so much; it is guiding you into your most beautiful destiny every day. Release guilt and fear. Know that you are love. Always have been. Always will be. Guidance is shared with you now that, whatever your struggles may be, they will soon reveal themselves to be nothing more than steps along your path to the sweetest blossoming of your soul. Be patient. Rest with this rose light in your heart, dear soul, for healing energy is flowing into you now. Trust your heart to overcome any pain. It will indeed heal. Open up and love even more powerfully than before.
Such is the courage of your heart. Phrase of the day, I am loved. Day one exercise. We have been through a lot of situations in our life that cause us heartbreak, pain and suffering. These events make us judge ourselves that we are failing in life. Unloved, unwanted and self-hatred. Sometimes we have faced the feeling of being abandoned and fighting with cruelty alone. These events are wounds in the heart that are hard to forget, but we can heal those wounds. If we are willing to admit that, one, it's just a few things among the 10,000 things in life. Don't let these things define you. Be fair to yourself. Two, it involved just a few people and a few actions of them. In fact, we have many people who admire us, love us, and are proud of us from the past, present and into the future. Do not take the actions of some people to judge that you are not loved. You are not wanted. Three, we are never alone. We do not fight alone. We have guide and highest good to always watch over us. Even though we never saw them, it doesn't mean they are not here. If only we just open our hearts to listen. We will always hear them because we are their loved ones always and forever. Please embrace these three truths with love and compassion to yourself. And please embrace the love and care from guide, angel, and highest good that take care of all our hearts. Today's exercise will help us to heal our heart. Since our hearts are precious, significant and the greatest love, healing our hearts from pain will allow us to have capacity to love and love unconditionally. One, please take a piece of paper. Write down your own values that made you have a job. Self-support and take good care of others. Describe who you are and how you are able to overcome many of the challenges in your life and still be alive today. 2. Take another piece of paper to write down a letter to one person that makes you either painful, regretful, worthless, unloved, unwanted and abandoned. You can let it all out from every of your deepest pain. While you write, you can curse and you can cry. Please allow yourself to let it come out. Three, ask yourself what happened in part two that made you values or create the being of you that makes you proud in part one. When you get the answer, please write it down as a bullet point. Four, Embrace the story in the letter that you have written down with thankfully to all these experiences that help create wonderful person to admire today. 5. Burn the paper that you wrote in part 2 and then please set your intention to know that what happened has done its job and its role has come to end in our lives. 6. May the universe embrace our heartache suffering, all the pain from life experiences in part two that still remains in our mind, go through the smoke into the sky, 